Hi, so continuing from the last part that uh, we have seen that what is the probability distribution of yi given xi parameterized by theta, right? So we have seen that uh, if you are given a line theta transpose xi, so most of the points are uh, around the line, right? And they follow, and what they follow? They follow a normal distribution because we assume that the data points are re related by this equation y equals to theta transpose xi plus error i and this error term we have seen is a gaussian so we we have written that the probability distribution of y given xi p of yi given xi parameterized by theta belongs to a normal distribution with mean this right because this is a gaussian with zero mean and if you add something to the Gaussian, right? So this is, let's say this is mean zero. And if you add some quantity to every every point, the mean will shift to this point. So the new mean will be now theta transpose xi. And the same thing is here, right? So you can see the mean point is theta transpose xi. This is again the mean. So this, this point is nothing but the theta transpose xi, right? So we can see that most of the points are scattered around the mean so this is something like this something like this right so most of the points are scattered around the mean and due to the gaussian noise right so gaussian noise captures the behavior and due to unmodeled effects or some random noise and we assume that these these uh, this noise is iid identical and independently distributed so the it belongs to a normal distribution with mean theta transpose xi and the mean is uh, and the vari variation is this right so variance is this right okay so now we want to uh, view this this as a function of theta right so we write this as a function of theta so we ignore y and x terms here and we say that we want to write the likelihood right so likelihood for all the points right so likelihood is generally written for all the points right so for all the points in in our training examples capital x and for all input examples let's say capital y right or y vector right all right and now this this can be written as this can be written as product of probabilities for all the points i goes from 1 to m p of yi given xi into theta right so this is a general formula for the likelihood right so if you want to uh, if you want to derive the maximum likelihood estimation for any problem what you will do you will multiply the probability estimates or the probability that you are getting for each training example right so maximum likelihood estimation may you have to multiply all the probabilities for all training examples under the assumption right why multiplication because we are assuming iid right so we are assuming the noise which we have added to our examples is uh, independent is independently distributed right so if the noise is independent then the all the probabilities can be multiplied right so all these probabilities can be multiplied right now we know what is this thing this is nothing but this is nothing but again the product i goes from 1 to m and we know the gaussian noise it is given by 1 by root 2 pi sigma e, e to the power minus yi minus theta transpose xi square right divided by 2 sigma square this is the noise right and now if we want to do some work right so if we if we want to simplify this thing what we are going to do we want to maximize this function right so we want to maximize this function right so it is difficult to maximize the product what i can do is i can take a log right so if instead of maximize this function i can maximize the log of l theta right so log of l theta which will be log of this function which will turn this product into a summation i goes from 1 to m log of 1 by root 2 pi sigma 
माइनस लॉग ऑफ और यू कैन से इन टू राइट सो लॉग ऑफ ए बी इज गिवन बाय लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी राइट सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम टू टेक लॉग ऑफ दिस थिंग राइट सो लॉग ऑफ ई रेस टू दार समथिंग ई रेस टू दार वाई इज नथिंग बट वाई राइट सो दिस विल गिव मी माइनस समेशन ऑफ आई गोज फ्रॉम वन टू एम वाई आई माइनस थीटा ट्रांसपोज एक्स आई स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू सिग्मा स्क्वायर दिस इज द लॉग राइट सो दिस इज वॉट आई एम गेटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट राइट सो सो सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इट वुड गिव मी एम लॉग वन बाय रूट टू बाय सिग्मा माइनस दिस विल बी वन बाय टू सिग्मा स्क्वायर समेशन ऑफ आई गोज फ्रॉम वन टू एम वाई आई माइनस थीटा ट्रांसपोज एक्स आई स्क्वायर राइट सो दिस इज द फंक्शन एंड आई एम राइटिंग दिस फंक्शन एज एल एल थीटा बिकॉज इट इज लॉग लाइकलीहुड ऑफ राइट नाउ दिस इज द फंक्शन राइट सो वी वॉन्ट टू मैक्सिमाइज दिस फंक्शन वी वॉन्ट टू मैक्सिमाइज दिस फंक्शन एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट टू मैक्सिमाइज दिस फंक्शन दिस दिस वैल्यू इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज सिग्मा इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट राइट दिस वन बाय सिग्मा स्केर इज ऑल्सो अ कॉन्स्टेंट राइट द ओनली चेंज वी कैन मेक इज वी हैव टू minimize this we have to minimize this because this here we have a negative sign if the, if this value is minimum then the log likelihood will have a maximum value right so we can extract this quantity out so this quantity and to this so it would be half of y i minus theta transpose x i and a square here right so we have to minimize this quantity and this was nothing but the j theta so this this is nothing but the j theta so this basically means in order to maximize the likelihood we have to minimize our square error right so maximum likelihood is equivalent to minimizing the square error right so that is why this is the reason why we use the squared error loss function in the linear regression problem so this is the mathematical reason of choosing the uh, squared error problem and uh, also we will have a summation sign here i goes from 1 to m so i hope this this concept is clear and this is a very gen general concept we will use uh, the maximum likelihood estimation for all kinds of algorithms we even for neural networks or for logistic regression so please go through this derivation and this is a very important concept and we will do more problems uh, based upon the estimation kind of thing right so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial right